record things in here. Thank you so very much for accepting to be a main guest on Hello this morning. Okay. It's true that as so many of your fans have been watching you on TV, play with the Indomitable Lance of Cameroon with uh, Lyon in France. Uh, from the horses of Marcellus, who is playing in here? <laughs> well, it's a long story. I started like, uh, like every young Cameroonian, like in our little villages over there in Boya and there is this competition that was organized by the Brasseries of Cameroon and uh, we were selected so we went to Douala about eight of us and just 20 were supposed to remain in our category so I was one of those who were selected and that's how everything started. From there I went to the, the national team under 20 and um, for the qualifications of the African Nations Cup, uh, I was not finally selected for the final list. So I went for I went to Germany for for a test um, in one club, uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Everything went on well. I uh, came back to Cameroon and I was preparing to go back there, but uh, my agent preferred that I should go to France for for the start. So I had to go. I had to play one or two competitions in Limbia again. That's when the the staff of Olympic Lyonnais came to Limbia and they they contact me and I was waiting for my 18 years before going to France because it's, um, that's the rules and laws of Cameroon. You can't go to France as a young player when you've not attended um, um, 18 years. So I was there when I was 18 and I went for a test match. I was supposed to spend about one month. But after my first week, I signed my first contract with uh, the reserve. That's uh, for about two years, and I played with the second team of Olympic Lyonnais for about one and a half year, and that's how I succeeded in getting into the first team, and that's how everything started. Listening to you talk, Clinton uh, here, and let me find out from you this whole dream of becoming a footballer. Let me find out was it inborn or you just nursed one day? Was it right? Was it a childhood dream? Yeah, I think it's a childhood dream because um, I've always loved to play football. It's always been a passion. I've always dreamt of being a footballer. Um, I just think um, I was born to to give the best of me, and that best of me, I think, is football. And uh, it's alleged, tell us, it's alleged that you spent so many months uh, in football school, in the football school, and one of the barriers that you faced was the French language. What is it true or false? <laughs> how was that language, or how was it a barrier to you? Yeah, um, like every young Cameroonian, I came from the Anglophone section of Cameroon, so it was not all that easy. Before going to France, I was in Douala. I spent about three years in Douala. Yeah, but um, it's not the same. In Cameroon, I can talk with people, speak English, and English but in, in France, I just have French people, and it was not all that easy. I had some barriers, not only with my language, but um, I think uh, my family and friends, uh, I needed them back then, because uh, it was not easy. I was in the... When I was doing my formation, I was in one sound, uh, one center. So, like after every match in the weekend, everybody goes to the house and spends some time with his family. I was supposed to stay there alone, and so those are the type of difficulty I was facing back then. But um, as for the language, I think um, everything went on fast. Tell us, Clinton, your first professional match was way back on 28th of November 2012 against, uh, if I'm not mistaken, against Rennes or Rennes. How was it like this first professional? Well, for me, it was. I was just like realizing my dreams. Because um, I've always dreamed playing those type of matches, and I had one coach that gave me that opportunity to, to play the match. and. For me, it was just a dream come true. First professional match in 2012. Your first goal was scored in 2014. Uh, a two years of gap. How was it? Was it difficult? <laughs> no, 
Not that it was difficult after my first match, um, like every young player, it's not difficult to like integrate yourself in a professional team. So I need to have some time of adaptation and so I needed that time to to integrate myself into the professional team and so it took me some time and at the end I've <laughs> I started scoring goals. You have been so instrumental with your team, Lyon, over there in France, uh, with you at times considered to be like the fastest player in the French League One. Tell me, how do your teammates over there in Lyon, how do they look at you? <laughs> <laughs> but normally, they know, they always give me compliments about my qualities. So, nothing special, they just like appreciate my talent and that's all, like I also do. Quinton Jay, young, talented, who had rumors in the media recently about a possible move uh, to Arsenal, but rumors dismissed with uh, Clinton extending his contract with New York. Do you confirm that? Well, concerning, con concerning Arsenal or Tottenham and all those big clubs in England, well, I don't, I do not have any contact with them. And that's not my job. I have people that work for that, so I can't say anything. But for the moment, I'm still a player for Olympic Lyonnais. Clinton, tell us, trace us your, 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 your way into the national football team of Canada. How did that begin? Well, I think, um, like, every player that plays in Europe that's an African, I think um, our coaches, um, the delegation of football, they have some, like, agents that um, they are just like spies that comes, that comes in, uh, in Europe for research of young talented players so i had my uh, before coming to the national team i had no contact with anybody mm, or the coach or anybody in cameroon so i was just like in the dressing room and my coach and some of the other staff members called me and said uh, you've been selected with the national team so you'll be going on this day that's your flight ticket and that's how everything happened i don't know what happened before then so i just think um, it's because of my performance because the more you play, the more you 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 are seen in the public, and so that's what happened. The young player finds Mukanjo. Mukanjo back to Jack Clinton. It's possible here now. Jack Clinton. He enters inside the box. Shoots. It's a goal for Jack Clinton. The first two matches with uh, the Indomitable Lions, the first match you scored a goal against the Democratic Republic of Congo, the second match you scored two goals against Cote d'Ivoire here in Cameroon. How was it like? First two matches, three goals for Clinton G. Well, um, when, I, when they called me in the national team, I was like very, very determined to come and give my best because it has always been a dream for me to play, to wear the colors of our of our national team to defend the colors of Cameroon. So when I came here for my first two matches, I was very, very determined like I am today. I just came here to give my best and during that period, I think success was on my side, so. Beaucoup d'expérience aussi, et qui préfère jouer avec son gardien de but. Look at this opportunity! No, he the job pass, I don't think. And Oh! Wonderful player! Wonderful player! Quel joueur, quel joueur! Ce garçon de Jack Clinton, quel joueur! Et quel but! As one of the youngest players in the team presently, you have come into a team, you've met senior uh, teammates uh, who have been there before you. Uh, how is the relation between you and the elderly ones? Well, like uh, I earlier said, like my performances in the two first matches, I think they, they played a great role because um, they've always been there for me, like advice and giving me the best of confidence I need. 
I think some of them, most of them believe in me, so they know what I can do and they just try to put me in the best position. So that's very important. I think they have a good role in my being well in the national team. And how does uh, Clint and Jay react to uh, this assertion by so many Cameroonians seeing you as the new Samuel in the face of Cameroon? You must have heard about it. <laughs> well, for me, it's a, it's a pleasure. Like we all know, Cameroonians, Samuel in the face is a very, very talented and legend of football, uh, African football. So for me, it's just uh, a great pleasure that the 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 thing I can do or try to like rec to replace some of the trophies for me it's just a sort of motivation to keep me going harder and harder and higher and higher so for me it's a sort of motivation let's not talk about something that was very very pertinent and present in the press uh, I see your smile and I'm sure you know what we're talking about the 2015 after Cup of Nations Clinton J made headline news the world over. Talking about him, who, had been, who was sidelined uh, during the Lions and matches during the African Cup of Nations. Getting from the first's point out, they had so many different stories. What actually happened? Well, nothing. I think like um, the coach said, it's the person that called me here. So um, I went there with my... I had so many decisions I make and I had some some choice to to make when I left my club Olympic Lyonnais for the national team and I went uh, to Guinea with some ambitions but I could not fulfill those ambitions because I, I never had enough time of enough time to play so what happened in the national African Nations Cup was just uh, like the coach earlier said in the press and all those radio and TV stations um, I think he's a coach, he made his choice and I was just the player that I am today to respect his choice. There was nothing behind like money, like um, I don't know, like relationships and all that. All I know is that he said I was not performing on, on the training ground. So I think he's having his choice and he has his ways of seeing things. So that's all what happened. There was nothing behind it. Since you talked about money, so many media organs talked about money, uh, having exchanged hands, Clinton having given money to somebody who did not get into the right channel. Uh, do you dismiss such rumors that they are just mere rumors? I've never think of such, and I don't think I'll ever do such things. I'm not here today because of money. I've never even think of giving anybody money. So I don't know why I'll give somebody money for, for me to play. That's never been one of my roles in football, so that was just first for most. In GA, you were into the national team, you joined another one before you know, a young Kaka, a senior teammate to you. Uh, how is the relationship between the elder brother and a young Kaka taking into consideration that you guys are the two and the points in the team? With so many and the points looking up to you, how is the relationship like between both of you? Well, for the moment, I think we are three. But before then, we, back then, we were two of us, and he's always been there for me. Not only like a teammate, but like a brother, like an elder brother, giving me advices and being there when I needed, needed him. So, like in the African Nations Cup, he was there for me to like give me the, the right, um, the right way, leading me to the right way, and. So I think um, he plays a great role too in my well-being in the national team, like an elder person. Looking at the Indonesian Lions, you guys are involved in this one going qualifiers for the 2017 uh, Africa Cup of Nations. How do you look at the Lions? How do you size up the Lions' chances to qualify uh, for the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations? In your group, you have Mauritania, uh, you have South Africa, you have Gambia. How do you size up the Lions' chances to qualify? Well, I think um, we have all the qualities. Um, we have also good teams like South Africa and Gambia and Mauritania. They are, they are, they are good players. I, I think they have players that play in Europe. And I think it's going to be a difficult qualification, but um, I think uh, we have our keys in our pocket. So we have everything we need for, for us to go as far as possible. I just think. Uh, 
if we are determined and disciplined, everything is going to go the way we want. We are slowly but surely moving towards the end of this interview, Clinton. Uh, uh, tell us, how do you look at the, the, the future of Clinton GF, the national football team of Cameroon? Mean, how do you look at the future of GF Clinton with the Indonesia Billions? Well, I always look at the future to be the best. I always try to progress every day. So for me, I just think I'm going to keep on giving my best day after day and give the best for the Cameroonians and for my teammates. So for the moment, I think I'm still uh, a Cameroonian that plays for the national team. And uh, I don't think changing that for the moment. Uh, I'm determined to give my best every day I come over to Cameroon. And uh, finally, Clinton, there is this question that so many of your fans or viewers of CRTV asked me to uh, ask you, uh, most especially female fans, when I announced that we are going to be interviewing Clinton here, you should know you have many admirers out there. They want to find out Clinton here, young, talented, is a star, handsome guy. Is he married? <laughs> no, I'm not married. Is he hooked up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hooked up. So our Cameroonian ladies back here, <laughs> nobody has a chance. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. But for the moment, I'm if hooked up. And if you know the secret, we know more about this special lady. No, it's a secret. For the moment, I keep it secret. OK, thank you so very much, Clinton <laughs> Jeff, for having accepted to, uh, to be our main guest thank on you. the LOCR TV. Thank you. We wish you all the best with the national football team, and most especially with your professional club. Thank all. you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Or if it's already producing, you ask government, which you are representing, to recognize his efforts with a medal. We want to make sure that competent persons are working and that competent services are delivered and that the skills are there and you are enjoying your meeting. Communication is perfect and you're not going to have issues of miscommunication that may lead to a third world war. I request because we were fire ball a couple, we not even get place for even hang, hang, hang with the hand for corner, then a, a lawyer, a guest store.